Hey everyone, this is Martin from HowToMakeMobileGames.com on June the 22nd or 23rd, 2019 and it is Tuesday here, Manchester, England and I'm about to go home, I've just got my coffee, uh, my sort of wake up juice, oh, sorry about that, my wake up juice for the evening and uh, yeah, I thought I'd talk a little bit about being a Unity developer and making money. So the title of this video, as you you know, whatever it's going to be, is going to be something along those lines, how to make money as a Unity developer. Because uh, I've been watching a couple of videos recently on things like AI and uh, TensorFlow, which is an AI, uh, an AI API, and then also thinking about things about building devices with Unity and the different business models. So uh, hopefully it will be interesting or useful or in some way to you guys. Hopefully I'm not going to hit this car behind me because there's not much space. Um, but uh, FYI, for the those of you who are not used to seeing these videos or, or new to the channel, um, I usually do the first part of the video for free. But the second part, uh, I have a, the forum howtomakemobilegames.com and the top she, top section, which is the pro section on there, uh, contains all the videos, uh, and that's a subscription for three dollars a month. Uh, all the videos are on there, and it's unlimited access. So definitely check it out. That's where you'll find part two. So you'll see a pause in this video probably and then uh, the next part in there. So yeah, ways to make money as a Unity developer. So this is based on my experience and sort of the uh, the experience of people that I see around me. So the first big way is obviously just to work for a company. Um, that's, that's the way I've made the biggest money personally. Uh, that includes my business before with Cobble Play. Um, the the obvious the obvious big difference is that is is completely not passive compared to the Cobble Play business that I was doing before, where I publish mobile games on Android and Google, and you know every day the money would come in through like a chart boost account or an AdMob account, you know, or in-app purchases, some kind of revenue would come in every single day, and it still does even to even to this day from years ago. You know, the, there's still games live and they still make a little bit of money sort of between five to ten dollars each day um, so yeah I'll take it just money in the bank for doing nothing great but the biggest money I've made uh, so far is definitely from working a full-time job uh, for uh, another company so that's that's the major way is obviously train yourself as a unity developer train yourself in C sharp this doesn't have to be unity necessarily you know it could be any area of programming but working for a company um, as a coder in general uh, in England, uh, it's kind of difficult to say how much you get because it depends on the job and the level. But I mean, sort of in the Manchester area, as a, a sort of mid-level developer in any kind of language, you're looking maybe at around, I'm, I'm, I'm saying maybe, I'll be more specific, say with Unity, you're looking maybe around 45,000 for a sort of senior level to maybe 50,000. Um, so 45,000 to 50,000 pounds a year. Uh, as, a, as a sort of like senior level, that would be a full-time non-contractor. Um, that's a rough estimate. That, that's that's sort of based on what I've, I've kind of seen in the market. Uh, down in London, maybe around sixty-five thousand pounds a year for a senior level um, Unity developer. And when I say senior, I'm talking somebody who's maybe got around seven to eight years plus experience. Uh, that would be kind of a senior level. Um, so, but obviously in that situation, it's not passive by any means. That it's very, um, you have to be working every day. You have to be. Uh, you've got to be out there working 40 hours a week in order to get that money. The, the other way is obviously to, to, to do things like games uh, that I did before. Again, speaking from experience. However, games these days, I think, especially in the mobile space, is extremely difficult to make money. And I'm still... I'm still sort of asking this question to the guys on the forum or anybody who sees this video. How much money are you making with mobile games now? I only make five to ten dollars every day through around I don't know how many games are live now on the app stores. I, I, I probably published over the course of six or seven years about 80 games, maybe 70 roughly off the top of my head. I, I'd say 60 to 80. I know that's quite a broad range, but I really can't remember how many of them have been. That's been a mix of iPhone, Android games, VR games as well, published on the Oculus Store. Some games on Windows Mobile, some web games as well, like, like a, a giant just mix of things. Nothing AAA, nothing massive, uh, just a lot of little games uh, back when the app stores were popular. 
and to this day even though I've not been active in that area for the past sort of year or year and a half it still makes around five to ten dollars every day you know which is cool again I'll, I'll take it you know it's just passive money so my question to everybody is how much money are you making on mobile games now the forum like how to make mobile games.com as I saw recently one of the guys uh, post on there saying hey where's all the activity on the forum it, it seems dead yeah um, it, it, it's probably because nobody's not making as much money anymore uh, iPhone dev SDK or iPhone SDK dev I think was the other forum uh, people when I last looked on that it was like years ago people were saying the same thing they're just not making as much money and um, also the uh, make money with Android forum as well that was the other one that was that's basically I think it's closed down or the owner sold it or something and again just because people are not making as much money uh, so yeah you can do games you can do games that's that's sort of like the glamorous area or the interesting area for a lot of people doing unity development because unity is a game engine however I wouldn't personally go into that area you have to bear in mind that unity doesn't just do games unity you can build applications with it you can build training applications with it you can build large-scale um, uh, uh, projects with it, you know, it, it really depends what you're trying to do. If it's something that's very graphical, 3D or VR, uh, then yeah, Unity is great. Uh, if it's more of a, a kind of, uh, I'm trying to think of an example here, uh, like a, a button clicky sort of um, uh, statistics tracking piece of software, which isn't very visual, then maybe Unity isn't the best solution. But it, it's totally doable. Uh, if it's a web thing and you want it to be accessed through a web browser, Unity probably isn't the best solution either because you can do WebGL uh, builds of Unity stuff, but it's not very good. You have to import the whole engine into the into the browser, which isn't a good solution. So my opinion is another way to make money out, uh, out of uh, um, uh, being a Unity developer is to develop applications. I've built a meditation app, a small one that I'm just working on now, called Inner Hush. Uh, if you check it out on Google Play, it's called uh, I. It's spelt I N N E R H U S H, uh, and that's a binaural beats meditation app. Excuse me. And that's a tool. It's something that I use every single day for meditation, literally every day. Uh, well, almost every, there's a couple of days maybe in the month where I don't do it. Um, so not literally every day, but a lot of the time, like last night, I meditated for one hour using this application. So you can build applications. And again, the business model being that you build applications, uh, tools, you know, and, and then uh, sell them on the App Store for free, you know, with an app, um, as an app. And then maybe put ads or in-app purchases on them. So... Um, but yeah, that's a business model as well. That's one, another way to make money uh, as a Unity developer. Guys, uh, I'm going to stop this video here, part one. Uh, this is part one. Part two, check it out on the forum. I'll put the link in the description below, so check it out there. I'll chat to you soon. Bye-bye.